I'm Alison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for beginners and all levels. And if, and if you would love to learn how to paint beautiful paintings like these, then I can show you tips and tricks and easy techniques to paint beautiful paintings. All you have to do is go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. And it's all free. See that? That beautiful? So just go to my channel and subscribe and you'll get all these free lessons over 900 actually and uh, you and they're easy to follow a lot of people say that they they never could paint until they came to my channel <laughs> would you believe so you subscribe and you will get all you'll get over 900 free video tutorials on how to paint beautiful landscapes seascapes still life animals and tips and tricks on how to paint fur and all kinds of things. So go to my channel now and subscribe. Have a look around, pick out the ones that you like, and then just click on it and you've got a free lesson. So have fun and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Everything we just did, give it a second coat, okay? So if you want to touch them up and make them come out a little bit more, all you got to do is... So if you're going for the pink one, I wouldn't do a big lap with it now because it's already done so you don't want to put something on there and mess it up so I'll just add a little bit of white to my corner and I'll just add a little bit of white and, and probably on the edge depends on what edge you want doesn't matter just use the corner of your brush to brighten up some of these edges here that's the best way to go about that So that's all you gotta do is just tap away, tap on your different colors of green and yellow and red, and you'll get these, you know, so don't mix them completely on, on your brush, just tap them on your canvas and let them mix together. We're gonna go over, you know, those with different colors and highlights and bushes and everything, but that's a nice little start. Guys, I hope you like this painting. I, I really love it. I'm, I love all the, the highlights and the trees, and it's kind of abstract. Like, I'm been painting lately, I've been doing things almost abstract, you know? And I love it because you don't have to worry about everything being so perfect. Uh, unless you're into that, okay? If you're into that fine art, then you can also do that. But I love these kind of paintings where you can just have fun with them. And I love those stickers. I love fact that you can put these stickers see how cute that is see so you can either leave them this leave the stickers there or you can take them off and paint 
paint them on, you'll know now where they go and if they look nice. If you put it on and you didn't like it, just take it off. So I, I like the stickers. I hope that helps you. So that's it for now. So you guys have a great day and thank you so much for watching and paint along with me and uh, email me at alisapartyahoo.com and let me know um, how you made out with your painting, if you need any help or anything and send me a picture of your finished painting. I'd love to see it. I'm hoping someday to get all these paintings together and put them on YouTube so everybody can see them, see all your paintings. All right. I'm going to paint this beautiful poppies in the blue veins. Isn't that pretty? A little feather there and a little book and a nice little butterfly. So I'm going to show you easy techniques to do these poppies today. It's a little trick that I found and I'm going to show it to you. Let's get started. So I got some yellow here. Some yellow. Let's even get a couple of yellow ones in there. So let's do... Yellow is so transparent, you know. I'm going to add a bit of white, kind of white yellow. You have to experiment to see what way it's going to come out. So I want more brown, it's a bit too white. So when they further they go back to smaller, they are, you know. This is a couple of big ones in the road. <laughs> So this brush is great for those bugs, okay? Let me get closer for you. So you're going to have a bit of shadow there, so you take your burnt sienna, and the sun is coming in through the wet, so the shadows will be on this side. Or there, there. To the illusion. All these little details, all these little details is what makes your painting, okay? What makes it come to life, what makes realism. This is real, more realistic looking than if you just left everything flat. So, a little bolt here. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of highlight to my boat as if it's, just use my flat brush. Thank you so much for painting along with me today and you can subscribe and share and like and that way you will be able to get notified of my new upcoming videos. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.